YouTubians, Miss Coop, how you doing? Just thought I'd check in with you, see how things are going. Thought I'd drop a little knowledge in your direction. Y'all know how I am. Um, I wanted to touch bases with you, see what's going on in your life, and to tell you about what's happening in mine. Last I told you, I was a new grandmother, and I'm enjoying that. Um, since we last talked, I've been laid off from my job. Is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. Uh, that's happening all over the country. People are being laid off. We laid off a lot of people, and I'm saying we because I still feel like I'm somewhat a part of that group, and I'm going to let them go. Um, however, you know, still feel a little bit of that. Um, like I said, was it a bad thing? No, it was not a bad thing. Um, I could say I was prepared. Um, you know, Susie Orman always say to make sure that you have at least six months of expenses put away in the bank. And I made sure that I did that. I've always done that. Um, I'm a good saver and I hope that you are. If you are not, um, if you don't have money in the bank right now, my advice to you is to start something. Start somewhere. Put money in the bank. I don't care if it's just $10 a week. Put it in there. Leave it in there. It'll pay off uh, in the long run. And make sure, like in the beginning, when I first started saving money, I think I was a second class in the Navy. And um, I had gotten promoted to first class. And I started with $20 a month, or 20, no, actually it was $20 a payday. And um, by saving my money, uh, $20 a payday, I was eventually able to buy my first brand new car. I think it had two miles on it, and I was the one that put the two miles on it. Um, but it is very important to at least have six months worth of expenses in the bank. The, make sure that um, if you are a contributor to your 401k, that um, you touch bases with those people and you make sure that you don't have a check released to you, that you either one, roll it over to a traditional IRA, or um, you can roll it over to your new um, job, but make sure that you talk to those people. You know, I'm not an, a financial advisor. I am just an average, everyday working Joanne. <laughs> but um, it's very important to put your expenses to the side in case of a rainy day like the one that I'm experiencing. And it's not raining in my day. Okay, um, I was with that company for 14 years and I enjoyed every moment that I was there. I leave behind a group of really great people. Um, I learned a lot, a lot um, working with the group that I was working with. They taught me how to write business requirements documents. They, just before I left, I went to the school for SharePoint. They flew me all the way out to Colorado to learn SharePoint uh, 2013. And um, from an administrator standpoint, um, I, I think I, I pretty much got the basis down. Um, my specialty uh, at that I was going toward was workflows. But, you know, um, I'm going to make sure that I continue to educate myself when it comes to um, SharePoint 2013 because I know that it's a viable market out there and it will um, help me to get my next piece of employment. There are some other irons that I have in the fire that, you know, I'm thinking about pursuing and I've already touched bases with people that I know and they're going to help me along with those things as well. So, you know, I, I have options. I have options. And as Joel Osteen always say, you know, this period right here did not come to stay. It came to pass. And so um, I knew eventually that one day, um, something like this would come about. I've actually been looking for it since the beginning of January and I was always surprised that I was still there because I'm not a technical person. I'm more like a business analyst sort of, but I'm a trainer. I train people. I'm good at that. 
Uh, whatever you need training on, I can train you. <laughs> so, um, but I'm taking this, I decided to take some time off and pull my house together, get rid of some things, uh, clean out some closets. Um, you know, the holidays are about to come. This is where a time where a lot of people like to come and visit, you know, stay over. I want to make sure that the house is prepared for people to come, you know, and we'll see what happens from there. Anyway, on to another note. You're probably looking at my hair. This is a wash and go that I got going on here. I absolutely love it. Seems like the longer my hair gets, the better these wash and goes get. Is there a secret to it? I think the longer your hair gets, the better those wash and goes go. And I say that only because you get weight at the end of your hair. You get weight here. And as your hair dries and it has a little weight on it, when it curls back up, it, when it dries, it's curling up. And you get a, um, a nice um, natural curl with your own hair. Um, I think, and, and, and I'm trying different products um, as far as my washing goes are concerned. I, I, um, I, this is Eco Styler Gel. Um, the last wash and go I had was a concoction that I made. Um, I love that too. I'm still wearing my coils, but here's the deal with the coils. Um, it's either going to take me a long time to put them in, or it's going to take me a long time to pull the coils apart. Now, I happen to like it when I put big coils in on the onset and then pull them apart after they dry. The problem with that is that they can get a little fuzzy sometimes. And so you have to be a little careful when you're doing that. Um, but, you know, I'm still wearing the coils too. Right now, this is my wash and go phase and I'm kind of loving the wash and go. I may just wear my wash and go for a little while because they're equally as good. It's just that my wash and go it only takes me mm, 20 minutes to pull a wash and go together as opposed to my coils that takes me anywhere from mm, an hour and a half to three hours. If I'm putting the smaller coils in, it's going to take me three hours. But if I use big coils, it's going to take me maybe like an hour, hour and a half to put those in. And then it's going to take me a long time to pull them apart after they dry, like I said. Anyway. Um, what else is going on? Last I told you, I'm a grandmother. I'm, I'm uh, so thrilled at being a grandmother. These babies, oh Lord have mercy. I could just kiss them to death, both of them. Um, my, my, um, my big girl, she just she just broke her, her collarbone, but she's gonna be okay. She fell out the bed and hurt herself. <laughs> anyway, um, and my my um, my baby my new grandbaby, she is only eight months old. But do you know she can climb up a flight of steps? And the last time I had her, she I had my fingers around her bottle. She had her hands around her bottle. And she was standing in the floor. And when I let the bottle go, she stood. I said, oh my goodness. But her daddy walked at eight months and one day. So I'm not surprised. Um, what else could be happening? I'm not going to just stretch this out and keep telling you stuff about what's happening. I'm going to be better about getting on here and letting you know what's going on in my life. I got a little more time. So this is what I'm going to do with the time that I have is I'm going to spend a little time with you. I'm going to clean out my um, little cubbies that I have in my house that's cluttered. And I'm going to get on with the business of getting business done. So... I want to thank you for keeping a sister strong, and I will be talking to you in my next video. Talk to you soon. Mwah.